guys and gals and you spirited fanboys. My name's RJ with Second Union. It's February the 11th. Welcome to the 2U Week in Review. Kicking it off with number five, the Clover Paradox pretty much won the Super Bowl. I mean, technically the Eagles won the Super Bowl, but Netflix gave this movie a massive and expensive boost by dropping the trailer during the Super Bowl. Viewers got an awesome treat when they realized that the movie would be available at the conclusion of the Super Bowl and not in months like everyone had previously thought. So here's hoping that Netflix is finally changing the game again. It was groundbreaking when they released a TV show and we got all 12 episodes right at once, but now we're looking for something different. So Netflix, we're waiting for you to spice things up. 79 actors from the Marvel Cinematic Universe gathered together last October in Atlanta, Georgia for an epic photo. As you can see here, we've got Robert Downey Jr. front and center. And I feel that it's probably because he basically kicked this all off in 2008 with the first Iron Man movie. We've also got Chris Helmsworth, Chris Pratt, uh, Don Cheadle, and newbie Spidey Tom Holland. I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall during this photo shoot. The amount of talent that was in one room at one time, that is truly epic. Especially for something that's not the Grammys or the SAG Awards. And I hope to see other franchises take notice. DC, I'm looking at you. If you've been eagerly awaiting the release of Red Dead Redemption 2, you're going to have to kick up your heels and wait just a little bit longer. Rockstar Games blog reported that the game is going to be pushed back until October 26. They are saying they're very confident that they will have the game ready by this date, but they said that they didn't want to just push something out that wasn't ready. They stand behind their product and they want to deliver the best for their gamers. Now this game is going to be available on PS4 and Xbox One. Sorry, but no PC release for this version. If you're going to be in the Baltimore area April 27th through the 29th, you definitely need to check out Universal Fan Con. And they've just recently released several new guests, including sci-fi alum Tamsin McDonough, who plays Lucy on Killjoy, Sergio Sona, who plays Wraith from The Magicians. In addition, we're going to have Misty Knight co-creator Arvel Jones, plus chiptune video game music veteran DJ Ben Briggs. Don't forget, that'll be happening April 27th through the 29th at the Baltimore Convention Center. And to use number one pick for the week, it's bringing it back to the Super Bowl. As always, there's a ton of really cool commercials that go on during the Super Bowl, but if you're a geek like me, you totally enjoyed all the movie and TV trailers that were debuted or just re-ran during the Super Bowl. We got a look at Solo, A Star Wars Story, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, Season 2 of Westworld, also the new Tom Clancy, Jack Ryan show starring John Krasinski, a look at Avengers Infinity War, and Mission Impossible Fallout. If you missed any of those, you can definitely check them out on the Second Union website. But which one was your favorite? I know which one mine was. Definitely the solo Star Wars story. But let me know what was your favorite. Alright guys, that's it. Once again, I'm RJ with Second Union. Hope you enjoyed the 2U Week in Review, and we'll see you again next week.